What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 4 will not update. Let's get right into this. Updates are important for keeping your PlayStation 4 working properly. They include things like bug fixes, new features, security updates, and much more. You should always try to keep your console up to date to prevent experiencing issues. Now, if your PlayStation 4 is not updating, there are a few things that you can try to fix the issue. If your PlayStation 4 won't install the updates automatically, you may be able to force the update manually. The first thing to try is to delete all notifications. First, select Notifications, then press the Options button on your controller. In the menu, select Delete. Then choose Select All followed by Delete. After deleting all notifications, try to manually install the update once again. If that didn't work, try to restart and update the console into safe mode. To do this, turn off the PlayStation 4 completely. Next, you're going to want to press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps, which should be seven seconds after the first beep. Now you're going to want to connect the controller and you're going to select option 3 to update system software. You might be prompted to connect a USB flash drive, so if it does prompt you to do this, you're going to want to go on a computer, you're going to want to go on PlayStation's websites and download the current PlayStation 4 updates onto a flash drive. Then you're going to connect that to PlayStation 4 in safe mode and it's going to transfer the update from the flash drive onto your console. Now if updating your console in safe mode didn't work for you, then there might be a bigger issue with your PlayStation. PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, the last thing to try is to go back into safe mode and factory reset your PlayStation 4. Before doing this, make sure that you back up all of your save files and unplug the external hard drive if you are using one, because if you do a factory reset with the external hard drive connected, it could erase everything that is on that external hard drive as well. Hopefully deleting the notifications and or forcing the update manually using a USB flash drive, hopefully that worked for you and you don't have to factory reset your console. But once you factory reset it, you should be able to set it back up and get the updates and hopefully it will continue to work for you moving forward. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.